male contacts in your phone, you should never be broke. And if you can't ask any of the male contacts that text you, hey, good morning, what you doing? For money? Yes, it is time. Block, 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 block. You are not a pen pal. Hey, this is Raul of Please Act Right. Today's video is more proof that some of these modern day women are completely delusional. Before we get started, I want to give a special thanks to Jane and Elena Limbrick, Dwayne Gilmore, and Ramon J. Bell for your generous contribution in supporting my channel on Cash App and PayPal. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated. You avoid dating broke boys. Don't date broke boys, they just stress you out. Number one, when I meet a guy and he wants to ask me out on a date, I say, okay, where are you from? What do you do? I am a aerospace engineer. I go straight to Google, type in aerospace engineer salary. 200,000 a year, great. That's in my income range for guys that I date. So that's what she came up with as an example, an aerospace engineer that makes $200,000 a year. Yeah, okay. Now, if he comes and says that he works at McDonald's, no shade, you just don't make enough to date me. And that's okay. There's a girl out there for you. It's just not me. So to all the McDonald's workers out there, you don't qualify to date her. Yeah, I know you was hoping and praying, but hey, be strong, brothers. Be strong. Number three check his living situation. Does he have his own place or does he still live with his mom in his mom's basement? Very important. Another thing, does he have an actual bed, you know, elevated off the floor so you're not breathing dust? Does he have more than one pillow? Does he have blankets? Or do you walk into his room and he has one mattress laying on the floor with one stained pillow? Ew, gross. I'm actually gonna give it to her on this one. Fellas, you should be washing your sheets, covers, and pillowcases at least once a week. And if your lady's gonna be stopping by, you need to have some freshly washed sheets on your bed. If you can't afford to pay your own rent, how can you afford to pay my rent? No. If you're just dating, then you shouldn't be paying her rent. That's husband's duties when you're married and she lives with you. You see how I did that, right? Took a page right out of their book. Number three, if he wants you to call your own Uber to the date to see him, absolute automatic no he's a broke boy not doing it that is when i tell him i prefer it if you sent my uber to my place or you pick me up yourself because i'm a lady i deserve to be treated like a princess and i'm not accepting anything lower period broke boy leave him alone ain't gonna do it for you um so where is your car miss thing you sit up here talking about how a woman shouldn't date a broke man and you don't even have a car I'm manifesting only wealthy men for my girlies who are watching this, so stay tuned for more. Bye! All of those demands, but not one mention of what value she has for that man if he has the money and wants to date her. So for her and all the women who agree with her, here's a little jingle you'll be singing for the rest of your life. Your day? Should they go 50-50? <laughs> well, I believe personally, if a man is trying to get to know you, he has to wow you at first. Like, you want to win the prize. I'm the prize. You think so? Once you've won, yes. Why are you the prize? Because if, if the guy wants me, he's got to show me that he you wants me. You don't want me. him? No, no, but I'm saying he has to show you interest. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you don't, you want him though? Yeah. Yeah, but, so why are you the prize? Because he wants me, like he wants me more than no, I but, want him. Ah, so you want to? Oh, so you want to get with a guy who wants you more than you want of him? Of course, no, right, of course. Right. And how do you think that turns out? Well, in the long just, term, it, it just, like if if well, if you if, if he loves you more than you love him, do you think you're more likely to leave? No, because I could grow to love him <laughs> more. I hate to be that guy. I could grow I, to I, love I, him I, more, you know. Word to the wise. If you're way more into her than she is into you, you are setting yourself up to be friend zone. Only date a woman who you see is really into you from the get go. If she's not into you, don't date her. You've been warned. You, and you think that's the right mindset to have? Like oh. to, to get a guy who loves you or likes you more than you like him. So you want to be chased. You want him to wow yeah. you, blah, 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 all that yeah. kind of stuff. And then what are you doing for him? Once he's proven to me that he's worthy of my energy, then he'll be getting the same energy why, back. Well, all right, so this is great because this is final thoughts. But why, why does he, why does he have to prove to you, and you don't have to prove to him? No, I will prove to him. Who said I wasn't going to prove to him? I just want to see that he's worthy of of me. 
proving to him and that why why are you so and why are you so great way. why are you so great like you say worthy of me as if you're like this queen or something like why of course, are you so great like everyone has their own different personality everyone has their own like i'm i'm probably like he probably sees something in me that he doesn't see in any other girl <laughs> <laughs> this poor young girl and she actually thinks like a whole lot of women do that she's valued higher than other women she thinks she's the exception you you, you think that <laughs> okay so when i said and the reason i'm sorry i'm sorry but i don't know why you guys are laughing but i'm just trying to like flesh it out and the reason why you say that he probably sees something in you that's need everybody no because you want girl. to be sold a drink right that's that's a, you see you, so you so you see when i was saying that most women choose like 20 percent of men mm -hmm. right do you think that he hasn't seen what you've got? Is what you're saying? Like he hasn't seen, like in all his life, he's never seen someone like you. Well, as I said, traits, there's like different traits that women have. So maybe there's something that he sees in me that he hasn't seen in another woman. But notice she's not telling us what those traits are. If you know you have traits that other people don't have, you can tell others what those traits are at the drop of a hat. Now listen closely, because he's about to drop some knowledge on this young lady that most of these young ladies don't really want to hear. Hmm. I'd say this, right? If you want something, mm -hmm. and that's and that something has access to multiple things, it's probably best for you to study the thing that you want. And I and I find that a lot of women don't study men, the men that they want, right? Because the men that women generally want have access to eighty percent of women, but those women are telling these men. Oh, you chase me. I'm the prize. I'm this. I'm the. the. But you, ha but you want that more than he wants you, and that's what you don't realize because you're of the eighty percent. He's the one that is in high demand, and if you don't study the thing that is in high demand for you to get it, then you'll always lose. So for me, if I want a woman and I know what women want, I'll study women because I'm trying to get them. The problem is, is that modern women don't want to study men and understand how men think, and that's why you don't get it. You don't get what you want because you're not because you're saying i'm okay i'm just me if i just be me that should be enough no you're supposed to study the thing that you want understand what that thing that you want wants and become the thing that he wants and if you're doing that you'll get the man that you want if you ain't you ain't gonna get does that make sense it makes a lot of sense right yeah, yeah. so study the thing that you want yeah hopefully she really got his message but we all know that most of these modern day women, they'll study everything under the sun to get their degree. They'll study everything under the sun to get their business to flourish. But they refuse to study the type of man that they claim they want, which is exactly why so many of these women that are going after the top 20% men will not get one. The buffoonery continues. Women would rather have a man locked up in the penitentiary than a hardworking man out in the real world. So let me get this right. There's a thing called writeaprisoner.com and women is getting engaged to men after writing to prisoners. They start dating them and everything. But y'all still want to get on planes and go find people overseas. Um, that's exactly why we're getting on planes and going elsewhere to date. Because some of these women are doing things that don't make any sense. And hell, you just proved it right now with that comment. Why in the hell would we stay here with a bunch of available women that would rather date men that are in prison than those of us who are walking around here with regular jobs? Are you high? I'm not understanding your logic behind what you just said. How is brothers who are seeking to fly overseas to travel and explore the world have something to do with, in your words, black women writing dudes in prison, looking to date dudes in prison? Now, for those of you all who have been following me for a while, you know I had to do my homework on this one, right? So I typed in writeaprisoner.com, and guess what? There is such a website. You can choose a prisoner by the state, or you can choose them by sexual preference, whether he's bisexual, gay, lesbian, transgender. You can go by race, and you can choose one by the amount of time that they have to serve, or by age, from 18 to 99 years old. Man, I could not believe that this website was real. And evidently, women are actually writing these guys because it's an actual website. <laughs> Women's is getting engaged to Thugnificent, all right. Thugnificent. 
Ladies, I know y'all mad as hell that this woman put this out here like that. He said, yeah, man, a lot of these dudes in here in the prison, they'll get up online, they will whatever, reach out to these ladies, and they will fall for all that shit they giving them. They not fit nothing but game. So these women, I don't know if it's out of desperation. You know, they go after these do dirties and all that stuff, but all all they doing is getting played. And you know, these ladies, man, they'll fill their commissary up, make sure that that coffee, the, the ramen noodles, and that macro or tuna is filled up. And that's that's the game that's going on right now. It is comical as right now. The funny is these but, women love they these prisoners. It, it's no doubt about it. They they don't want to go 50-50 with a lot of these guys. But they'll go, they'll go zero one hundred with a lot of these prisoners, cause maybe they like them conjugal visits that they get with the prisoner husbands. And that's the point I was about to make. You got these women out here saying that they're not gonna go 50-50. Then you got women out here saying that he has to pay all the bills and she's not gonna cook and clean. Then you got women out here saying that the man has to chase her, but she can't tell you anything that's different about her from the next woman for the reason that a man should chase her. But you'll date a man in prison who can't do anything for you, not even go 50-50. Make it make sense. Male contacts in your phone, you should never be broke. And if you can't ask any of the male contacts that text you, hey, good morning, what you doing? For money? Yes, it is time. Block, 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 block. You are not a pen pal. You can't spend all your time and energy by improving yourself, taking high value women one on one, and still be entertaining men just to have notifications. The wax lady, your hairstylist, your landlord, your phone bill. Payment method is not good morning. So she's telling women that if a man is in your contacts on your phone, and you can't ask them for money, you should block them. And the premise behind it is that her hair, nails, and rent need to be paid, and that those men should pay for those things for her, or he's not worthy of being in her phone. That's her advice to women. Here's my advice to men. If you're in her contact list, and she feels the right to ask you for money just because you know her, let's follow her with our own rule. Block, 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 block. Block her and keep it moving. Anyone with any common sense should know that she does not deserve for you to pay anything for her just because you're in her phone contact list. Man, some of these women are so delusional, it's not even funny. Do not go on that coffee date. Do not go on that boba date. Do not go meet that man for drink. Even if we just get coffee and sit and talk to each other. I love coffee, boba, drinks, ice cream, root beer float dates, just as much as the next girl. Instead of this telephone and get to know you more. It all boils down to principle and setting the tone. I don't want to come off as someone that is okay with the bare minimum because that's what it's giving. Once she said, I don't care about that. Ow, I'd really love to get to know her over some dinner and a nice ambiance. And there it was like, you can do a walk down the street. Like, oh, I, a coffee day, ice cream day, that's good. That's good to me, like, girl. Especially the women that were like, oh, I met my current boyfriend from a coffee date or from an ice cream date. Message! He'd get, have a hot pretzel or something and just engage with someone. That's good for you. But honestly, you're probably the exception, and not the rule. For the majority of women, you probably should not be accepting coffee, walk, and ice cream dates. Honestly, for Actually, our first date was more of like we were already dating. I said I'm wifey material. Because you got lips. Let me, let me just say, I could cook, I clean, I got lips. Like, yeah, like. That's wifey material. Nah, wifey material, and I'm smart as hell. I know how to put money in niggas' pockets. What is you talking about? She says she's wifey material, but she's sitting there sounding like a whole dude. And I'm not going to say anything about that green hair. Oops. Hey, fuck. I'm going to go get her. Mm-hmm. I don't need nobody for nothing. Like, you feel me? I do this shit by myself. I grind by myself, work hard by myself, and I'll never put a nigga support. Cause my dad, I promise my dad. Shout I out to you. Girl, so he is. I'm white for material. I was nice. <laughs> hey. I'm a headache, though. I ain't lying. You and there it is. She says, I'm wifey material. But then she just said, but I'm a headache, though. I ain't gonna lie. One of the number one reasons why us men will say she is not wifey material. What man in his right mind wants a woman who's a headache? And she's going to tell you that. A headache. That's the, that's the number one problem right Ar there. Arguments. I don't like that. I... Like, no. It, it don't be the argument. It don't be the arguments for me. You like you like... slap <laughs> <laughs> And that's exactly what I was thinking, too. 
The way she's dressed, the green hair, and the way she talks, she'd be the very woman that'll be out in the store with you acting a damn fool, embarrassing you in public. You know that type of woman that doesn't understand discretion? We can talk about this when we get home. That's what we doing! That's what we doing! Babe! 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 That's what we doing! Babe! Y'all, I've been on that! Uh-huh! You need to manage your man! Because she's doing too much! How are you doing too much? You ain't answering your phone call! I swear to God! You don't go my own guy! You don't even go to church, you evening! You a man? If you're a man on your purpose, imagine you being a businessman. How are you going to take a woman like this around your other businessmen and colleagues and be taken serious, right? She's ignorant, obviously. She says how smart she is, but then right after that, say some stupid shit. I can put money in a man's pocket. You mean, man, come on, stop, man. Exactly. What type of man has she been dealing with that she feels putting money in a man's pocket is a positive thing? At least the way she's saying it. Generally, those are the type of guys that are laying around doing nothing. You know, the lazy bums that these women complain about. Their sexuality is the only thing they have going for them, right? Unfortunately, a lot of like that these days are winning just because the world is mostly simp, right? She feels like she can finesse anybody and she see these guys as high value and she see these guys as somebody that can change her life. So she low key shooting her shot, but they literally <laughs> laughing in her face. And nobody takes this woman serious. Nobody will ever take this woman serious. And this is a sad truth with a lot of these young ladies out there today and some of the older ones too. Their value to them is only based on their sexuality. It has nothing to do with their personality. And as you see in this video, the delusion is real. We got a woman who's clearly overweight, and we know that a man that makes $200,000 a year is not hardly looking to date her. Yet she's making videos thinking she actually qualified, or she's just looking for attention. Another one who says she's all of that, but she can't tell you how she outshines the other women. Then we got women that would rather date a man in prison and put money on his books rather than go 50-50 with a man who's out here walking around free. Women who think just because you're in her phone contact list that you should automatically pay her bill. Women saying no coffee dates, but sitting there with a face full of makeup so we don't even know what she really looks like. Then another one that says no coffee dates, but she has friends and acquaintances that are telling her that that's where they met their boyfriend. But no, that's not good enough for her. And then this young lady who says she's wifey material and she has lips. You know what she means by that, right? Claim she's wifey material, but sitting there talking like and acting like a dude. So if you will, give me a quick moment of silence while I do a very quick prayer. Feel free to listen in if you like. Dear Lord, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart that I never ever have to date again in this country. Hey, somebody has to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.